Okay, everybody, time to go to Grandma and Grandpa's house. They're dead. Not your grandparents, Peter. I'm talking about my parents. And besides, today's Dolph Lundgren's birthday. And me and the guys always celebrate it by watching Rocky IV. Always find a way to embarrass us at my parents. That's the Polana all fruit. Pass the Polana all fruit. Would you please pass the jelly? <laughs> We're concerned that many of you Family Guy fans under 40 didn't get that reference. All right, you ready to watch Rocky IV? Let's do it! Yeah. Happy Dolph Lundgren Day! What the hell? Try blowing on it. Well, we gotta watch the movie. It's our tradition. We could just stream it on your Apple TV. Turn it on. I'm sure we can find Rocky IV on there. I don't know how to turn it on. It doesn't have any buttons. Rocky IV! Let's just go to the damn store. Hold on, hold on. Let me try screaming at the PlayStation. Hey, you guys. Why the long faces? Yeah, we were trying to watch Rocky IV on our DVD. Didn't work. Real slow. We got a bin of old movies. Rocky IV might be in there. Ladybugs, classic Rodney. A million ways to die in the West? No, thank you. Ah, nuts. This one's written in terrorism. That's, uh, Cyrillic. It's a Russian bootleg. All right, here comes the fight. Get ready to eat it, Drago. Yeah, Rocky gets up. Not only does he not get up, he's holding a sign that says, Workers of the World Unite. I'm writing Vladimir Putin an angry email. Dear Vladimir. Ho oh, ho, that's telling him. I hope this email finds you well. Other than that, all is well on this end. Chris continues to hit the books as best he can, and Meg has become a woman in front of our very eyes. And send. Now return to Captain America Civil Union. All right, Captain America, we have to get ready for the big fight with the other heroes. Vladimir Putin? Da. Where is bathroom? I George Brett myself on plane. Did you just call me chicken? Yes, chicken. Fikre, fikre, fikre. Sound different in Russia. Outside, now. Hi, we're from Publishers Clearinghouse. I have a million dollar check for someone named Chicken. You're going down. Kick his ass, Peter. Yeah, kick his ass. Punch his ass, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you had enough? Oh, looks like Putin's phone is buzzing. I'll tell you something. If he were here right now, I'd kick his ass. Just like hundreds of dead journalists, I'm not afraid of Vladimir Putin. You're not such a bad guy. Well, thank you. To show there are no hard feelings. Hell yeah. I'm up for the strip club. Great. Who's driving? I was kind of thinking of taking my shirt off and riding a horse there. Get out. That's totally my thing. Feels good on my drunk chest. You know what? You're a good guy, Peter. Well, you're my friend now. Funny how this worked out. Who would have thought, huh? I guess things not always what they seem. Hey, Anime Wong, no ticky, no shirty. I'm just getting around, Rice Bowl. Jeez, lighten up. It's like looking in a mirror. Ah, it was fun. I'm gonna miss you, Vladimir. So, come with me back to Russia. I need friend. Is he... oh, right, okay, okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wheels up, let's go. We can smell the tiny bottles of booze. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Ah! Welcome to Russia, Peter. Man, Russia has the hottest and ugliest women in the world. All tens and ones. Whoa. Ah, oh, I'm a whoa. I know what'll cheer you up. We listen to Funny Morning Zoo on radio. Hello, buttocks. <laughs> ah, humor. Now time for government-approved prank phone call. What? Is your refrigerator running? Yes. You are very fortunate. So what do you do for fun around here? You got DirecTV? We have Time Warner. You got HBO? We have Stars. 420p. You got everything you say, I say something little bit worse. I did it to myself. Please pass the aspic. I'll have the aspic. I too will have the aspic. Eh? Huh? See? Now aren't you glad we did all that work earlier? Peter, come. Also, American football. What? No! It's true. And a Roger Goodell? You're a Russian spy? I don't know, Peter. Patriot to suspend, eh? Da. Tom Brady. You leave that gorgeous piece of ass alone. It's time someone stood up to you and survived. Ladies and the gentlemen's. Tonight, we are here to see the fight to determine East-West superiority. <laughs> I can't believe it! 
but it sounds like the audience. Here. I'm not really here, Peter. You've been hit several times in the head and sustained severe brain trauma. To settle our differences. Say you. Yes, say me. The next day, he poisoned me on the limo ride to the airport with radioactive tea. Half my body weight, all my hair, and I have lesions that'll never heal. That's our president's best friend. Ugh, it's the guys. What do those losers want? Losers? Those are your friends. Hey, Peter. Hey, what are you doing tonight? We're gonna watch Cleveland put a garbage can full of coins in a coin star. Sometimes it takes my button. Got a wedding next week. I just want to clean it up a bit. Oh, well, that's too bad. Yeah, maybe next time. That sounds horrible. Gosh, I got plans with Stryker. I don't want them to embarrass me. I love all the positive feedback, but maybe you guys send a pic? Anyway, here's more pics. Hey, you ever try that? Wingsuiting? I mean, basically, yeah. One time I jumped off a top bunk with a towel around my neck like a cape. Quagmire, Joe, and Cleveland. How do you two know each other? Did you meet at the Harry Potter store? Peter loves that place. It was one wand, and I was using a gift certificate. I you seven or eight things on my body and ask for medical diagnoses. This thing here that looks like a second elbow? I don't know what it is. Feels like it's filled with liquid. Well, I could take a look at it. Look, this! This right here is exactly why I've been avoiding you. I knew you'd embarrass me in front of Stryker. Who cares? He's just some dude. He's not just some dude. Hey, look, Peter, if you're so embarrassed by us and you think we're losers, well, then we don't want to hang out with you either. Good. Who needs you, bums? I got Stryker. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope you two are happy together, you jerk. I spilled hot chili on my nuts. <laughs> you're a riot, Peter. Hey, you sure you're up for this? Oh, hell yeah. When I commit to something, I go all the way. Like when I had Kathleen Turner's voice. I'm just gonna get my stromboli. Hey, get away from my stromboli, Kathleen Turner. Nah. Wow, that's, uh, that's some view. I know, isn't it? You see that rock formation over there? We're gonna fly right through the center of it. It's called threading the needle. Or, or we could just go home and watch Sound of Music. I can see you're a little nervous, Peter, but I'm telling you, it is easier than you think. <laughs> Just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, holy shit. That's him. Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Yo, hey guys, what are we drinking? Beer? Hey, Quagmire, how about one of your famous sexual stories? Friendly jokes indicating closeness. We heard about Stryker dying. Yeah, craps. Yeah, give it up. It's actually sloppy. Well, for me, it's both, but listen. You really hurt our feelings. You can't just treat us like garbage and then expect us to take you back like nothing happened. We're tired of you taking us for granted. Yeah, this isn't even the first time you ditched us for someone else. Remember when you blew us off to hang out with Jerry Seinfeld? Why did your wife steal that cookbook? Peter, I'm sorry about your friend Stryker. I know it's gotta be hard to watch a man explode like a bug on a windshield. No, it's not that. I never think I'm cool. Your friends thought you were cool until you dumped them. Oh, wow. I guess you're right. I treated him like crap. Can Gary Glitter, Jeffrey Jones, and Jared from Subway spend the night? Uh, where the hell are you going? Lois told me to go jump off a cliff to prove my friendship to the guys. Are, are you, are you sure that's what she said? Anyway, I gotta go jump off a cliff. Peter, wait, hold on, this is crazy. Hey, Quagmire, Cleveland, and Joe, it's your buddy, Peter. And I'm about to thread the needle to prove to you guys how sorry I am. You can go ahead and delete the Kennedy Center honors from my DVR. I'm, I'm never going to watch that. Okay, here goes nothing. Peter, stop! Don't jump! Brian told us you were going to... Why are you wearing a douche suit? You're sorry. Not all of us believe that, but we took a vote, and I agreed I'd respect the majority. Look, you really treated us badly. Totes, my goats? Maybe you guys are cool. Fist bump. Ah, crap! Ah! Pat? Guys, I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna thread the needle! Oh my god, I did it! Howdy! Ah! Ah! Oh, damn it! Ah, son of a bitch! Ah! Well, it's good to be back, you guys. And I'm sorry again I dumped you for Stryker.
Who the hell's this striker guy you keep talking about? What do you mean? He's that cool, handsome guy I was friends with. Hey, this is a really weird question, but do you boys want to go out dancing? We forgot all about my coma and my crazy dream about a cool guy. 